Here's Raul, Paul Petrlin here, top sheet photography. This is a small series that I am editing live, you know, switching between the cameras. Uh, immediately a disclaimer, I am not an art historian, I am not an art critic, I'm just sharing my passion for love, my passion for photo book. And last week I asked you who is the author of this photograph. Um, you guys, you're amazing. I mean, you nailed it six minutes later. You know, it's of course, it's Richard Billigan and uh, Ray Zalaf, um, iconic Brook from 1996. So this time I thought I would give you a harder challenge. So, as you know, I am a fan of, um, of painters' approach to photography, but this time, let's see a photographer's approach to photography. More precisely, um, street photography. This is all taken, look at that. It looks like a modern take on crucifixion, don't you think? Okay, who is the author of these amazing pictures? Just, just like truly breathtaking street photography images. Look at this one. I was staring at this image for... Oh wow, it's just, it takes my breath away even now. Yes, that's... <laughs> Look at that. It's surreal in a... <laughs> surreal images. True masterpiece. So now it's a challenge on you. Who is the author of these of this book? It was published, I think, it was in year 2000. It won uh, one really big award. More about that now later. I mean, not one and the one. Anyway, you tell me. You guys are amazing. I'm pretty sure you will nail it fast. In today's show, we will talk about Richard Billigan and his book Raise a Laugh. And this is a very important book, not only from the aesthetic point of view, but also how art can save somebody's life. What does that mean? Let me just go flip through very fast. So this is a story about dysfunctional family. So father is alcoholic, mother is obese, violent uh, woman. And uh, Richard, Billy, Richard and his brother Jason and his brother Jason are, are growing up in this family. And Ray, and Ray's story is basically he was a good working man, a great father who lost his job, who is the industry when he was um, working on machine, machine, machine. Anyway, he lost his job, he didn't know how to deal with it, and you know, alcohol was his way out and, um, and you know, but the idea is, this is not a story about an alcoholic. This is a story about a father being alcoholic. This is a, these pictures are full of love, if you ask me. But let's, let's see it, let's see it through. So how, okay, I bought it in year 2000 in Frankfurt Book Fair. So, it starts with a, with a place where, where, where it's going on. So it's like a social residence area. Jason, he was also took to um, social, social care um, because, you know, of this dysfunctional family. All these images are taken with a snap camera, with a compact camera, on the cheapest film, and as author said, and the cheapest developing uh, process he could get hands on. Richard Billigan was studying um, a pa um, painting, and he, first he started to snap these images as um, sketches for his paintings, but then his tutor saw this and actually and actually, oh, look at that. I love, I love how book is all in this pastel washed out colors, except <laughs> some, and then like this black, swallowing black, back in black, swallowing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And look at that violence, look at that. You know, and brother doesn't know what to do, you know, and he's just being slapped or, you know, 
this amazing, amazing his father cannot walk, falling. It's very difficult to see and to photograph. And, and then look at that. You know, when I first flipped, I said, oh my God, what is a duck in a park has to do with all this story? Everything, everything. Why? Because this is not a story about a, a dysfunctional family. It's about an author growing up. And these pictures, although crude and hard as they are, they based in love. And this is uh, this park and this nature pictures are kind of like his way out. He loved he and his uh, friend, our friend uh, brother Jason were into nature films, and David Attenburg or how whatever is his name surname pronounced. You know the, the David, you know the Sir David. Let's call him. Anyway, um, and uh, that's how he got out of this crazy uh, place that he was growing in. And then again, like darkness. Look how dark is that, you know, it's just like swallowing. And look at the painter's approach, you know. It's just like a painting, but it's done with a, from a, yeah. You know, washing his hair, combing his hair, looking good, being embraced by his son. He's trying to look good. He's wearing a good, fresh clothes. And his mother, look at that. It's not a lovely picture. I mean, she's a rough person, but you can tell that this picture was taken by somebody who loves her. And again, his, his hands are closed, you know, like his body gesture shows like the the anxiety that is coming in <laughs> to talk. <laughs> Look at that. Her way of out. Her way of exile from this life. Look at this back and this back. I mean, both are sick. This cat is not a healthy cat. And this man is not a healthy man. But look how this works together. As I said, it's again like a painting. This, this. It's like a diptych. Yeah, unsharp, raw, uh, beans on the floor, threats, fat black uh, cat fighting white, white dog. So violence on so many levels. And then love, love, so good. And then violence. Look at that. Somebody throw a cat. His brother, happy uh, family, and here is a, a dick. <laughs> Penis. Yeah. Look at that, huh? And again. <sighs> you take some breath, you know, like you relax. And then <sighs> they got a fight, you know. They both are bloody. <gasps> Look at that. The red eye. So horrible. <laughs> This is a, obviously a painter took this photo. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out, and let's continue. Yeah, look at that. What is that, blood or a wa uh, wine, something else? <laughs> she 
she's so happy, you know, feeding a little kitten. Yeah, she is happy, you know. Look at this image. You see a cat here? Uh, let me get it closer. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And the book is finishing with this, you know, window. And um, and raise a laugh, you know. This guy loves this guy, you know. His father, he loves him. Anyway, I really love this story, not only from a photographical point of view, but uh, and as you can see, the crappy cheap camera, the cheap film, the cheap processing is bringing the, the rawness in this, you know, and, uh, and also, it's just amazing. Um, Richard Billigan became a famous artist. He won numerous awards. Please Google up, I, I wrote here. But the most important thing is that he, this book was published in 1996 by Scalo in uh, Switzerland. So, I think it's Switzerland, Scalo, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it was published by one of the biggest uh, publishers um, and it was also Saatchi was hosting it in the uh, year 1997 in a sensation show. So anyway, so, Richard Billigan also made a, a movie, a featured movie about this. He won BAFTA award with that as a, the best debut. Anyway, Google up. This work is really amazing. Buy this book if you don't have it. If you, it, it, anyway, it, it's a good story. It's basically a story how an artist is being saved by, by, by art, by creation. Is is how in the deep in the deep of this shit that you know we call life, he gets on top of it. The ancient Greeks call it top shit. <laughs> so that's what this book is about, and that's why I love it so much. That's why it's one of my best books, you know, uh, my favorite books. So um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this show, and I'll talk to you later with that book that I showed you before. Oh yeah, thank you to all my Patreons for supporting me. I don't know what I would do without you in this, in this hard times of uh, COVID. And thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this show. Please share it. Please like it. And